The Hobium order has finally arrived. Welcome to Jan's Crossing, my name is Biene and today I'm going to show you what I've got in my shopping basket, so stay tuned. So let's get started. Well, this doesn't look too bad already. You can't see much yet, but we'll take a look at it together in a close-up. I'll just let you take a quick look here and I'll quickly put the package aside now. I also ordered some thicker yarns from Hobium this time. A friend of mine had given me a ball of this gray here, but you can't do much with one ball, so I ordered some more. We have Spaghetti Yarn XX Lace here, and it's a six weight yarn, 80% cotton and 20% polyester, and this are 250 grams. We have here the color light gray, and in total there are 90 meters or 98 yards, and an 8 to 10 millimeter needle is recommended to work it up. We have here a very interesting, yes, style of yarn. It's like a woven ribbon or a rope and it feels very firm. Not soft or flexible, but very stable, especially because of the cotton and rather suitable for home decor, I think. And that was Spaghetti XX Lace. Then we come to another spaghetti yarn. I already had a ball at home and I liked the color so much that I ordered some more for myself. This one is macrame cake and the color combination is so wonderful. Here in the middle the white, then around the outside these beautiful salmon tones with the transition to light yellow and then to the dark yellow and then on the outside these great orange tones. And on the very outside there is some white worked into the orange. And just like with the grey spaghetti yarn, we have a woven structure here as well. The yarn is made out of 80% cotton and 20% polyester and it's again a 250 gram ball. And we have a running length of 250 meters or 273 yards. The recommended needle size is a 2 to 4 millimeter, but I think you could definitely use a slightly thicker one for it. It's really quite compact and weighs quite a bit and it's called a 6 weight yarn. Then a few old acquaintances ended up in the shopping cart, namely I ordered a few more balls from La Mia Fettuccia. And I had already ordered this brand at the last Hobium haul and then I used them to create the Loopy Loop Unicorn pillowcase. You can also find a video on this channel, so feel free to check it out in the playlists. The yarn is great to work with and what's exciting is that we also have a woven structure here, so the yarn doesn't unravel. It's definitely also good for beginners, I think, and it feels very soft. You can certainly make a great garment with it, I think, but you can also make sturdy things with it, especially if you double or even triple the threads. But enough of praise, La Mia Fettuccia consists of 100% acrylic and this is a 50 gram ball with a run length of 120 meters or 131 yards and I ended up with six pieces per color in my shopping cart. The recommended needle size is a 3 to 3.5 millimeter and it is described as a three weight yarn. So we have white here. Since I want to make some baby stuff I ordered this beautiful and delicate pinkish white, just a hint of pink and the color looks so beautiful. And in the last yarn haul I ordered a rather strong pink, which was also super nice, but here we have a slightly softer shade. And then we have this beautiful baby blue, which I could not be missing. And those were the three shades I ordered from La Mia Fettuccia. 
And last but not least, I ordered this yarn here. It is called Yarn Art Angora Active. And it feels quite soft, but I'm curious to see how it will feel on the skin when it's finished, because sometimes that makes a difference. It's made out of 25% mohair and 75% acrylic. And these are 100 gram balls. They were on sale in packs of five, so I bought them right away. And we have a running length of 500 meters or 546 yards and a needle size of 4 to 5 millimeters recommended. So it's a really thin yarn, but you can use a great hook to get along quite fast. And it's called a one weight yarn, so it, it's really light and so even bigger projects like a big scarf or a triangular shawl will be beautiful and won't weigh anything. What I found a pity on the homepage were the missing color names, so I can only give you a number for this. So this is number 853. We have such beautiful, yes, old rosé pink tones here and such a brownish beige almost with a khaki undertone, I think. And we have the cream here and really like powder shades. You can find everything in the description box below. I link everything for you. And of the same kind, I ordered these beautiful purple tones. This one looks almost fluffier than the other one. And this one is the color 847. Oops, what have we here? Okay. <laughs> I think that's a knot. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, let's see if the yarn just got twisted or if we just got the end of a spool of yarn. But no matter, this yarn feels really nice, very soft and fluffy and also warm because of the mohair. And I'm really curious to see how it will work. Hopefully I won't make any mistake. Me and mohair are such a love-hate relation. I already told you that. I regularly despair when it comes to unraveling or frogging something up. But maybe you have some tips that I don't know. We have an unbelievable variety of lilac tones here. Here too, a light rose. Then we also have this, yes, bluish lilac tones. Have a look here. But then we also have really strong variants, such an orchid tone and also very dark lilac tones. And what I also find very interesting are these gray undertones here. I'm really looking forward to see what those will look like when they are worked up. And I think this shade is one of my favorites, although I'm not really a purple fan. But I think this will really look great when it's worked up. I will keep you updated on that. And this was my Hobium order today. Small but nice, I think. <laughs> I already told you that I have to slow down a bit. Now it's time to start processing on working up all the yarn and wool. So, but I just couldn't get around these yarns. I could buy wool every day, I think. There's so much to choose from and so many great ideas for what you do with it. It really is the worst when you listen to yarn podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the order from Hobium. There are some lovely pastels in there and something fluffy too. I'm really into pastels at the moment. I can't get around pastel tones. Pastel, I love it. Grey, anyway, love it too. And such bright, strong things with orange, rose, yellow. It just looks like a sunrise to me. If you want to see some more yarn hauls, you can check out the others on my channel. There you can have a look at what I have in my yarn stash. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell and comment down below. I'm happy about every comment and I'm always really excited to hear what you have to say. And finally, I just say keep your yarns crossing and have fun with your projects.